All right, Michelle, what do you think? Should we get started? Yes, I go for it. We have 63 of you happy, smiling people with us today. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Ah, okay. So a um, little housekeeping before we get started. As if you haven't heard me, if you just go ahead and mute yourself and we will start our presentation. So let me officially welcome everyone to the Hosting Special Events Breakout. Um, my name is Allison Boyd and I work with donor relations, specifically corporate relations for United Way of Greater Houston. And my co-host, Michelle O'Rourke, is also here. She'll be talking in just one moment. Um, just want to say, you know, to make a quick note of our email addresses, if you have any questions. Um, this presentation will be emailed out and you'll be able to download it from our website after the um, after the CLC uh, session closes today, um, this is going to be a high level overview. So we're going to be pretty quick getting through all of our slides. We're going to ask that you hold questions until the end. If you do have questions um, as we go through the presentation, please put them in the chat. We're gonna go through as many questions as we can. So feel free to put those questions in the chat and we will address them after we've, we've gone through um, the majority of our presentation. Um, and we're going to endorse since or we're going to talk about some specific platforms today, some um, that you can run certain special events through. We're not specifically endorsing any of these. We're just giving you some options. So feel free to use whatever you know you think is best, but we're going to call it a couple specific online platforms. Um, I think I've covered everything. Now uh, just one more, one last plea to mute yourself, and I'm going to give it over to my co-host Michelle to do a quick little icebreaker. You could also do it at some of your campaign events. Thanks, Allison. Hi, everybody. Okay, so I love a good icebreaker. These are great because they can help to transition away from what other people are doing. So, like I'm sure right now, a lot of you are reading your email from work. So this is that time to put all that down, pay attention because this is an interactive session. Okay. Plus, icebreakers can be fun too. One or two of you will have a chance to win a $10 Starbucks e-card at the end. So if you are declared a winner, we ask that you use the chat function and privately message Allison with your email address, and then she will send you your e-gift card. Deal? Okay, so here are the rules. This is a play on the board game Think in Sync. All right, so if you've ever played that same rules, I'm going to call out a category. And then I'm going to ask a question. You will put your answer in the chat feature. Do not push enter until I count down from three. So I'll say three, two, one. When I say one, you go ahead and push enter. Allison will be monitoring the chat and she'll let us know who were the first two people who had matching answers. Deal? Okay, as a reminder, do not push enter because you won't count. All right, so here we go. Our category is sports. I can see so many people are getting excited already. All right, so the question is, a sport with a halftime. What is a sport that has a halftime? Put it in the chat, not yet, don't push enter. Three, two, one. <laughs> we'll let that one go, because I know the rules were new. Allison, what are the two names that have the matching answers first? Kelly and Candace. Kelly and Candace. Now, do we have more than one Kelly and more than one Candace? All I have, I do not have last names. So, okay. all right. So, congratulations. Okay, now we're going to do another round. Remember, do not put the answer in the chat until I say, until I count down. All right, our second question Name a sport where a ball is hit over the net. A sport where the ball is hit over the net. Three, two, one. Wow, you guys are fast. <laughs> All right, let me scroll. They just keep coming in. All right, so we've got Candace again and Patty Fitzpatrick. Okay. Candace and X, I'm sorry. Candace and X, I don't know who X is, but they have won this round. Okay, so each one of you that has a matching answer, the first two that have that matching answer on each round gets a point each. All right. Our last question for this round, a sport where a ball goes high in the air. A sport where the ball goes high in the air. Three, two, one. All right, they come in so quickly, bear with me. Oh gosh. 
<laughs> okay, so we have Kirstine and Ton. All right, good job, guys. So it sounds like we did have one person that got two points. Is that correct, Allison? Yes, Candace. Candace, okay, you're the winner of our first icebreaker. That was fast, it was easy, it didn't take any time. Uh, so go ahead and Candace, send Allison a private chat with your email and we'll make sure and get you that e-copy. Good job. So these are great, you can use any category, simple, didn't take any time, and now I'm hopefully have all your attention. So I'm gonna turn it over to Allison now and we're gonna discuss some alternatives to some of that. Yes, thank you so much, Michelle. Good job, everyone. I know um, the rule, you wanna really type your answer in right away, but we followed the rules for the most part. <laughs> um, all right. So really briefly, we know all companies have their own safety guidelines um, in normal times, in non-pandemic times. But um, in light of COVID-19 and every company's different safety guidelines and every person's different personal preferences, we want to recommend the CDC's guidelines, especially if you're still having um, some any in-person events or delaying your in-person events like golf tournaments, clay shoots. We put the website here um, as long with the QR code. We just think this website's very comprehensive and they have different downloadable links for um, safety guidelines. So very briefly wanted to talk about that. And now back over to Michelle, who's going to talk about how to have a virtual race. Hello again. Okay, so today we're gonna to discuss some different alternatives to your special events, large and small. So if this isn't for you, that's okay. Just hang tight, we'll get there. As a reminder, any apps, products, or services are for your reference only, and they're not necessarily endorsed by United Way of Greater Houston or United Way World Bank for that matter. So if you have any questions as we go along, please put them in the chat. Allison, you may wanna scroll past all those fun answers. So for those of you that host large events, such as golf tourneys, clay shoots, bowling, or in-person poker tournaments, these events can make thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, okay? So what is it that you can do? Several of our companies have found ways to still do them in this COVID environment, but some have opted to forego those. And so for those of you that are looking for an alternative, a virtual race is a great option. You just start by recruiting some runners or walkers or even cyclists. We learned that from United Way of Detroit. They did a very successful race. If your company has a running or a cycling club, this is a great way to engage them to help out. That may be a group that has never helped you before during a United Way event. So what a great way to bring in new people. They can also be experts, right? For those that need a little bit of an extra push. So we recommend running a virtual race during your United Way campaign. Many of you run these races, excuse me, these campaigns for one or two months, but some of you have shorter campaign timeframes. So we recommend that you begin your race before your campaign, and then maybe you end it during that one or two week time period uh, at the end of your campaign. So Allison, let's go to the next slide. Okay. So how does it work? So participants, we're talking about a marathon, but please understand you can scale this down, 5K, 10K, whatever works for you. Participants would complete their first 25 miles on their own and however they'd like, inside, outside, on, out on the trail and with whomever they'd like, right? Hopefully with their, uh, what we're calling their COVID pod, right? They log their miles via a free available app such as Strava, Garmin Connect, or the Just Move app that I actually just discovered as recently as yesterday, and it's awesome. You can make it fun. Well, we encourage you, please make it fun, right? Have participants post pictures on your personal social media channels or internal company sites to encourage participation. Challenge another department. Create a fun hashtag, right? So you encourage participants to fundraise and you can use platforms such as OneCause or as simple as PayPal or an internal system that you may already use. Everyone completes their last 1.2 miles together virtually on a time and date that you decide and encourage everyone to log on and celebrate together. So that's the most important part, right? We're alone together, is what we like to say. Okay, Allison, let's go to the next slide. Okay, so you definitely want to come up with some fun incentives. You could create a special edition shirt or a medal, or right now people aren't wanting maybe to spend some money based on budgets. It, it could be easy as a day off or a half day off. Anyone who completes all their miles could be entered in a fun drawing, maybe for an executive experience or lunch with an executive that doesn't cost you anything as a company, really. 
Prizes are part for participation on who raises the most money. These are just a few of the examples. And as a reminder, the event is what you make it. So it can be a 5K or a 10K. All right, Allison, let's move on to the next slide. So I have included some of those resources with some of the links so you don't have to go digging them out that I referenced today. And this is by no means a comprehensive list, but just a way to get you started. And if at the end you already do this, please share with the group something that's working great for you. And then finally, you know, we always like to talk safety. So Allison, our last slide here are some generic just safety guidelines for your reference. Feel free to use it. Feel free to add on additional things. So I hope this was a little bit helpful just to get your juices flowing, get that hamster wheel going. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Allison who's gonna talk about some bingo for you. Thanks so much, Michelle. And like we've said uh, at the beginning of this and during the general session, to get more into the nitty gritty and specifics, reach out to your United Way representative, coordinator, they're gonna get with you and help you physically um, plan, these, plan these events. Um, so bingo for fundraising. Um, here's an example of a bingo card we created. We have, um, Establish an account with Bingo Baker. We've provided the link here for you to go ahead and check out our, our bingo card if you would like. And we have um, kind of some instructions and a one pager on information on our website you'll be able to download. So you could use this as a special event for fundraising with a pay to play. You could use, um, you know, PayPal, like we've talked about, if you have an internal site or there's a possibility of United Way helping you set up a portal for pay to play as well. Um, it's a really fun, interactive way to engage employees, um, whether you're doing it to fundraise or you're doing it just for fun. Um, if you check out the website, it, it kind of talks about an anti-cheat policy that they have. Um, if you are doing this um, for fundraising and, you know, are you charging per bingo card, um, we suggest, you know, the first round being one of our United Way themed cards. Um, as you can see, you know, it's all different aspects about United Way, and we've created a little script as you call each tile to tell you what cheering champions are, what Thrive is, what Link is. Um, but it's just a really fun, easy way that you can do, you know, over lots of different platforms, team, Zoom, WhatApp, WebEx, Skype, um, to engage your employees, to have a little bit of an educational um, experience as well. We have a general United Way one and a Thrive one and are working on others as well. Um, and again, like with the virtual marathon, the virtual race, prizes are up to you. Um, they don't necessarily have to be money or gift cards. Um, you can get creative during this virtual time. Um, but we really think that this is a great interactive and easy way to engage employees and also do some special event fundraising if you'd like. Um, so now we're going to hand it back to Michelle and she's going to talk about a different bingo card. Thanks, Allison. Okay, so let's talk about a different type of bingo. We understand that not all of the special events that you guys put on during your campaign are to raise money. Some are to give back to the community. So this is a great alternative to a traditional day of caring. Our volunteer engagement team has come up with a fun community-wide bingo engagement card that they will be releasing soon. So we wanted to make sure that we included something for our fabulous workplace campaigns to feel like you and your staff are still able to make that difference in the community but it just looks a little different this year, right? And so again, how do you win maybe? You can make those decisions. Is it someone completes all the squares or someone just completes five of them? You can challenge departments. It could be, again, if this is as fun, as difficult or as easy as you make it. So I apologize that these squares are so tiny, so I'll just tell, read a few of them to you. So some examples are tell a friend about Texas, the 211 Texas United Way helpline. Uh, hello, look at your neighbor, tell them all about it, rehearse, hopefully tell someone that doesn't know. You just check that box. Drop off shelf stable food to a local food pantry. Notice we didn't give a specific nonprofit and that's by design. We wanna make sure that your staff and employees feel empowered to give to wherever their heart is leading them. Pick up groceries for an elderly or a neighbor in need. Um, but also you'll notice on here, and most importantly, we've left some blank spaces for you and your United Way account staff to customize to reflect your culture. There's also a space for your company logo. I, again, I apologize. Uh, the PowerPoint only allows us to show you so much. But tomorrow there are two great breakouts. There are a voluntary, excuse me, volunteer engagement breakout. And then there's also how to customize your campaign. Those are both amazing. And if you're not going to make one, but make the other. We wanted to make sure that you saw this bingo card. Um, so now I'm going to turn it back over to Allison so she can tell you about 
Family Feud. Thanks so much, Michelle. All right. So Family Feud, this is another option to just engage your employees, have an educational event um, where you can, again, do pay to play using one of the platforms we've talked about or just for fun. Um, what we love about this, and it's already up on our website under um, brochures and materials, CLC, it's a PowerPoint that you download that is already basically done for you. Um, we've already pre-populated some United Way questions and answers, and all you have to do is recruit some people to play. Um, the only thing that's kind of different than normal Family Feud, you know you will have your teams and you get to discuss. Um, unfortunately, because it's going to be virtual, probably on Teams or Zoom or something like that, you can have two teams, but you won't get to have that discussion. It'll be player against player. Um, and the link below is actually just to the website where we got it from and downloaded it from and edited it. It's a blank one, but we have the pre-populated one on our website. So this is a screenshot of kind of what it would look like. You have a question, what are the top COVID-19 needs based on calls to the 2 in 1 Texas United Way helpline? And then the next slide, it'll look just like, um, you know, normal family feud. You won't have the answers, but I went ahead and took a screenshot of the screen with the answers. And as they go through, you know, you'll click the answers and there's sound effects. It's really fun. You can change the, you can put a time limit or not. Um, you can change the point system. Um, it's a really easy, fun way to engage your employees. And again, you can get with your United Way representative to learn more, to talk about it. Um, but now let's go back over to Michelle to talk about some silent auction platforms. Allison, before I do that, back to bingo, how do people pay? Was there a payment portal option? Yes. So, yes. So with the bingo for fundraising, uh, Bingo Baker, you can get with your United Way representative and um, you can use ours and that will be assisted by United Way or it's $15 um, to just create your own account and you can duplicate and clone our cards for free and use them as you as you want. Um, so it's up to you whether you know you have a budget, whether you want to do it on your own or you want to do it you know with United Way. Um, those, are, those are some options that you have. Thanks, Michelle. Sure. All right, let's talk about some auction platforms. So many of you hold silent auctions during your special event time. So a question I've gotten is how can I hold these virtually? It's a big money maker for us. Again, not an inclusive list. If you have something that you use, please share it with the group when we open it up. We'd love to hear what you're doing. Um, so here's just a few. We've put some hyperlinks. Rally Up is a great one that one of our large companies use, and it is a percentage-based fee. Therefore, you avoid monthly subscription or per item charges. The only thing is you get charged a 4.9% per transaction, but you can decide who covers that, the bidders or you as a company. Again, just do your research to make sure, read all the fine print. The second one is a sell events, and it's a flat $249 activation fee per auction. So let's say you do United Way in the spring, somebody else in the fall, that's two different auctions, so $249. And then $1 per participant. So if you have 1,000 folks on staff at one of your offices, but only 50 participate in the auction, then it's just an additional $50. And then as you can see there, I'm not gonna read everything to you, but they do have an integrated credit card payment. But what about if, Michelle, I know I got time to research, sorry about that guys. And uh, my auction is in three weeks. I don't have time for approval. You can just go old school, use a piece of paper, take a picture of the item and put it on your internal SharePoint, which is usually a dynamic document that anybody that's interested in the auction can check it out to see if they've been outbid. Right, I recommend you put a time limit though on it like you would for a regular silent auction. And then if you do live auctions, you can try a Zoom platform. And then we encourage that you have somebody from your company leadership be the auctioneer to encourage participation. And let's face it, it's a lot more fun, right? All right, Allison, what about those tough choices? All right, thanks, Michelle. So um, you might've heard Amy Bierman kind of preview this. So we have a virtual simulation called Making Tough Choices. And this is all about putting yourself in the shoes of a typical Alice family. Now, I'm not going to get into what Alice is right now. Um, you might have heard it. You might be familiar with it. Um, a little preview is it stands for Asset Limited Income Constrained and Employed. So this is a, a study that came out, and we have one specifically for the state of Texas, and we have data specifically for the greater Houston area. So these are people who are working one, two, three jobs, but struggling to make ends meet. 
So this is a virtual simulation, putting you in their shoes, making the decisions that they have to make every day, um, impossible decisions. And so you can do this, like Amy said, individually. We suggest doing it as a group and making it a campaign event. Um, so you can do this as a large group, or you can do this in smaller breakout sessions, staff meetings, all staff meetings. Um, it's really up to you and what you want to do. We've created a PowerPoint that you'll be able to download to help you facilitate that meeting, um, whether you do it as a large group or breakout sessions. We've found that breakout sessions, um, five to 10 people, you can really have some great conversation. It's really eye-opening um, you know, to, to know what our neighbors in need are struggling with um, day in and day out. Um, again, you can do this on a variety of different platforms. Um, and employees get to learn a lot about how United Way is helping um, our neighbors in need. And with that, we have one more slide. Okay, so just some other special event ideas that we um, have received from some of our companies that we wanted to share with you. Something really fun, you could do a TikTok talent contest or social media talent contest where you pay to enter. And again, prize is completely up to you. Uh, you can create a United Way hashtag um, or a different theme, just ways to engage um, your employees. Something else that one of our companies is doing that sounds like lots of fun is a cooking show hosted, whether it's a company executive or a local restaurant. Um, it could be networking. It could be a small group of employees and the company executive, you know, sends out the ingredient list a week in advance and shows you how to make his or her favorite meal. Um, or if you want to get creative and you have a local restaurant you want to support or who wants to support the United Way campaign, they could, you know, uh, host the cooking event as well and show you how to make one of their favorite meals and maybe even you have a delivery service involved with that. You can get as creative as you want. Another one is a digital scavenger hunt. We've provided a link here that we think is really fun. You can get with your United Way representative for ideas. Um, and then virtual trivia, virtual trivia. Um, so our link initiative or our link affinity group which is our 30 and under, uh, had a virtual trivia not too long ago. Um, they did it via Zoom and they had a great attendance. Uh, they had lots of breakout groups. It was a really fun event and we can share those ideas and those questions with you as well. So now it is your turn to ask questions. Um, we blew through that really quickly, we know, but we want to hear, you know, your feedback. What are your companies doing? What's working? What's not? And then obviously any questions you have for us. So I'm going to open up the chat right now and see what questions we have. Candace asked a question, Allison, about how do you manage their participation? Candace, I'm assuming you're referring to the, the give back bingo? Yes. Okay, perfect. So one thing that some companies are doing, because they've done different versions of this, is they you have to show a photo. Have you ever done that scavenger hunt where you have to take a picture of where you are? It's similar to this. So if someone is take, taking something to a local nonprofit or a food bank, have them take a photo with what they're giving and then with somebody from the agency or a sign. If someone's having a conversation, let's say 211, have them video themselves. Wouldn't it be fun to share that with everybody else in your company? Well, great. How great of a United Way employee are you out there? Well, those are just some fun ideas. And also the honor system, Andrea threw that out there. Um, whether it's bingo, either bingo or, you know, whatever, whatever you're looking at, honor system always works. It's going to be up to your company and your preference. Do we have any other questions? Our best practices. We'd love to hear what you're doing. Yes. If anyone has anything they want to share what they're doing, please share with the group. All right, no questions. What else can we talk about? You guys wanna, we're gonna play one last game. I wanna give away another Starbucks gift card. So, oh, wait, here we go. Ooh. A virtual paint event. I'd love to hear more about that. Ty, is that, do you mind sharing with us? Sure. Um, so similar to kind of the um, paint and twist. Um, I'm sorry, I just came from working out. That's the only reason I want to be on the camera. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> you're better um, than us. <laughs> um, we we so similar to how that um, is that we kind of I kind of adapted from the how paint and twist have done. They've allowed for 
people to kind of pick up your supplies and then um, they virtually kind of teach the class. So on a Zoom call. Um, so these kind of so we thought we would uh, use that idea as well. That's a great idea. That sounds super fun. I love that. Thanks so much for sharing. So also remember, we are available or your United Way account manager is always available to pop in on a virtual event that you're having to give that United Way moment. So we want to make sure that during your United Way campaigns that people understand why, we're, why, why are you as a company supporting United Way? It's always so important for people to understand not only why am I giving, but who, who is benefiting. So we are there. We could do five minutes at the beginning of your event or in the middle of your event. What else? Anybody else have some ideas that have been successful or that they're considering? You know, they always say you should be silent for 10 whole seconds on Zoom before moving on. Hey, this is Candace. I just had a question for Ty really quick um, about the painting with a twist. Can you just contact any painting with a twist location to book the virtual session? Yes, you, you definitely can use any painting with a twist location. Or if you wanted to do it on your own, you definitely can. Um, so just <laughs> a little personal note, my family and I, um, my mom really likes Bob Ross. And I remember watching that as a kid. Um, so if you have a Samsung TV, uh, there's a Bob Ross channel. Um, and you can, uh, or YouTube. Uh, so we did a virtual painting uh, off of Bob Ross. Not as easy as it looks, but um, <laughs> fun uh, to see all of our paintings because um, we're in three different places. So we just put the um, picked a painting to paint. We all we got our supplies like individually, um, set a time, and then we painted following his instructions. Thank you. So it looks like we have a question. Has anybody had success with any other virtual platforms other than Zoom? So I know that United Way of Greater Houston, we utilize our Teams app, which is super fun. If you like to see people, that one only takes up nine folks where you can see them, but you can, I believe, have up to at least 100. Who, does anybody else have something that they're using? Share. we actually um, had a great Teams live event today. Um, and we had over 200 participants. Um, Williams had a great United Way kickoff today and did it all via Teams. We had videos in there. We had people like live. Um, we had audio with pictures, quick, a QA. and a It worked really, really well. So Teams is a great um, alternative to Zoom. But yeah, if anybody else has anything to share, we really want this time to collaborate and talk together. Um, so please, if anyone else has anything, speak up. Go to meeting and Google Meet. Okay, cool. Thanks, Ty. That's awesome. All right. So no questions about bingo or family feud or virtual racing. Um, if you do have any, feel free to put them in there. Feel free to email us. But Michelle, since we have a little time, if people don't have any questions or comments, we'll we'll have some we'll have some more time too. Why don't we do another? round of okay. all right guys so the category is in the sky in the sky name remember you cannot repeat your answers once we get started okay and don't type until you say one yes okay name an airline three two one <laughs> all right Man, everyone's so quick. Ah, who is it? It's going too quickly. Let's see, we've got Candace again. She's so quick and M. Carrillo. All right. Second question. Again, the category's in the sky. Name a bird. Three, two, one. Holy cow. I know, they're so fast. Now they've got it. Okay, let's see. Um, okay. Oh, 
All right, two eagles, Ty and Johanna. All right. And we do have a tiebreaker question as well. Okay, so third question. Name something that flies. Three, two, one. Okay. All right, we've got Christine and M014 LLS. So everyone's got one right now. I guess we need our tiebreaker. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go back to the sports category because I failed to write down my tiebreaker for this category. Okay, so we're gonna change the category to sport. Name a college football bowl. College football bowl game. Three, two, one. All right. All right, so that's Andrea and Kim. When all right, so we're still with ones. Do we have one more? So now what we're going to do, I guess I could do one more. Let's see. Okay, keeping in the category of sport. Name a sport. <laughs> Name a sport where the ball should not hit the ground. Name a sport where the ball should not hit the ground. Three, two, one. We're not quite following the three, two, one rule, but <laughs> I think we just, I think this is a learning session. So, you know, if you play this with your companies, be more clear. Say three, two, one a lot of times, but we're just going to go ahead and go with yeah. what came first. So, Kim and Christina Marsden. Okay, so Kim, that is you. You have two. There we go. All right, so please, Kim, send Allison your email privately in the chat so that we can email you your $10 Starbucks e-card. All right, we're gonna, one last chance. Anybody have any questions or wanna share anything that they're thinking about doing and need a little assistance on? Okay, well, we thank you so much for being here with us today. I hope that this was worth your time today and I hope to see you guys all tomorrow. We're gonna turn it back over to Mitchell now for him to close us out. Thank you guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed the breakout sessions and got some good information and tools. Thank you all for taking the time to join us today. I hope I will see you back here tomorrow, same time, same place for a segment on 211, a panel discussion on how United Way adds value to every gift and helps you make an impact. I am really looking forward to that one, as well as breakout sessions on volunteer engagement and leadership giving, and on using the tools and templates United Way makes available to personalize your campaign. And of course, another drawing for an Amazon gift card. See you tomorrow at 2 p.m.